Welcome back to the 12 days of Google Christmas. Well, we have worked our way all the way down to day two. I know the song goes one through 12 and we're doing 12 through one. It's been pointed out to me a couple times. I get it, this is just how my mind works. And the second most Googled question about Christianity or the Bible in 2019 is, what is the Bible? Well, to start off with, the Bible consists of 66 books written over 2,000 years by holy men inspired by God. We're going to look at their holiness, the inspiration, and what they actually wrote. To start off with, we're going to be in Psalm chapter 12, verses 6 and 7. It says this, The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace on the earth, refined seven times. You, O Lord, will keep them. You will preserve them from this generation forever. Here you see the psalmist talking about the purity of the word of God, that it's all going to come true. It's all of value. The second passage we want to look at comes out of 2 Peter chapter 1. Just two verses this time, it says this. But know this, first of all, that no prophecy of Scripture is a matter of one's interpretation. For no prophecy was ever made by an act of human will, but by men, moved by the Holy Spirit, spoke from God. So the second point is that these words were not written by men who just had some inspiration because they looked at a pretty tree or a sunset or something. These were given to them by God. You can think of it in terms of a boss and a secretary, right? If a boss dictates a letter to a secretary, that secretary writes it down. It's not the secretary's letter, it's the boss's letter. That's how um, the Bible was passed down through men to us. This does, of course, leave a little bit of room for a person's personality to come into the way a sentence is structured. You see that when you read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That all tell kind of the same story, all from a slightly different perspective. Still, all the words of God. The third thing we need to point out is that it tells the story, the Bible as a whole tells the story of the infinite love and desire for relationship between God and mankind. So all of scripture is meant to inform our lives, give us wisdom, salvation, and all types of instruction. Now we get that concept out of 2 Timothy chapter 3. It may very well be the most comprehensive view of what the Bible is for and is. It says this, and from your childhood, you've known the sacred writings which were able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. That may very well be the best summary of what the Bible is and is for. That man may be adequately equipped for every good work. The only way that's going to work in your life or mine is for us to actually consume the word. Spend some time reading and listening and studying. I encourage you to do that with your time, your effort, and your energy. Well, I hope you're enjoying this series. Merry Christmas. I'll see you right back here for day one tomorrow.